Hi there and welcome to the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to know your money. If you're new here, welcome. We hope that you joined the Financial Spotlight family. And if you already have subscribed, thank you so much for being a part of the family. Now, you know I'm always here to bring you new tips and tricks that are going to help you get your money together. And today we are talking about this new credit hack that I have found. So this new little credit tip is a three-way credit payoff. So basically what you're going to do is implement this payment over three different times while you're trying to throughout the month while you're trying to pay off your credit cards and i want this information to help you so let's go ahead and look at the chalkboard all right we are over here at our chalkboard and let's get started with this concept that we're going to learn is called the three-way credit payoff okay so first of all we need to know definitions or concepts. The first thing is the statement date. Now that is the date your monthly statement was generated. Usually the statement date falls on the same day every single month. That's the day of all of your posted transactions from the last statement date all the way to the end of the next statement date will reflect on that particular statement. The due date is the last day that you can make a payment. Now, when you're making, when, when you're looking at your due date, it's usually falling between 15 to 25 days after your statement date. So that's the last day that you can make a payment without being charged late fees or increased interest or whatever it is that your credit card company charges. Next, you need to know your balance. This amount is the amount that's on your credit card that you have used on your card. And the auto pay is automatic bill payment. So usually that is set up by yourself with your bank or with your credit card company so that it can pull it out of your account automatically every single month. I do recommend setting up auto pay for these payments so that you are doing them on time every single month because you want to make sure that you're doing them on time so that you can increase your credit score quicker. Okay, let's get into the juicy information. So again, this is the three-way credit payoff. And if you do it correctly, your score should increase within 60 days and it should go up by at least 30 points. This is going to help you to increase your credit score so that if you're trying to get a loan or you're trying to get some type of funding or you're trying to get a house or whatever you're trying to do, a car, whatever, this should help you increase your credit score. That's what we're all about, trying to increase credit scores, get your credit cards paid off. Let's go, okay? And the, the main concept of the three-way credit payoff is that you're making three payments on your credit cards per month. Yes, I said three. We're on a mission here. So yes, that's a lot of payments, but it's going to help you in the long run. So if you just stick with me, I will show you exactly how to do it so that you can get your credit score up. And again, auto pay is essential in this payment plan, payment program so that you can get your credit score up faster, pay on time and know that things are going to come out on the correct days. All right, so let's jump into it. So your first payment is going to be three days before your statement date. Now, remember I told you your statement date is the date that your bill comes out or is generated. So that's your statement date. You need to make a payment three days before that date. So it's going to fall on the same day every month. Make that payment three days before. And when you make the payment, you should try to either pay the entire balance off or to pay it under 20% of the total. I know it's kind of difficult to pay off the entire balance because we're trying to, you know, live life, but <laughs> it's going to help you. And if you combine this payment plan with the Velocity Banking that I talked about in a previous video, I'll link it in the description box. I'll also put it in the video, link it in the video. Uh, if you combine this payment, payment plan with 
your velocity banking, the way you're doing the velocity banking, this can work together and then you can pay things down quicker and then increase your score even better, okay? Now your second payment that you're gonna make, you're gonna make that three days later. So that means your first payment is three days before your statement date. If you make your next payment three days later, that means it's on your statement day, right? And you're gonna pay your amount down to 10% of what the balance was. So I'm gonna show you an example of what this is all about a little bit later. So just keep watching because I'm not gonna just leave you with these numbers. So you're like, what, how the heck do I do this? No, we're gonna go in depth and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with an example. And then our third payment is going to be three days before your due date. Remember the due date is the date the last day that you can make your payment. You want to make a payment three days before that. There's a rhyme and a reason to all of that. You either want to pay it down to zero balance or you want to pay it down to 5% of the total balance. So I either one is fine, but we prefer to pay it down to zero. But if you can't get it down to zero, that's understandable. You might have to pay it down to 5% of your total balance. All right, so let's look and see how we're going to do that. Let's start with a $5,000 credit card balance, okay? So again, we said our statement date, in this example is September 27th. So what are we supposed to do with our first payment? Our first payment, we're supposed to pay that, uh, make that payment three days before our statement date. So, and we wanna make our payment so that our total card balance is only 20% or less than 20% of what the total balance was. So in order to do that, in this example, we're gonna make a $4,100 payment on September 24th. That's three days before your statement date. That's gonna keep your balance $900 on the card. That is under 20% of your total amount. How do you know? Because if you take $5,000, multiply that times 0.20 or 20%, that equals a thousand dollars you want your total balance remaining on the card to be under a thousand dollars in order to get it under a thousand dollars pay the forty one hundred dollars now your remaining balance is nine hundred dollars you guys if you have any questions please put them in the comment section because i know it's a lot but hopefully this is helping you the five thousand down to nine hundred okay let's go to our second payment now our second payment, still on this $5,000 credit card balance, okay? Our second payment is going to be three days later, three days after that first payment. Of course, our three days after the first payment is what? The statement date. So your next payment is going to be on the statement date, September 27th. You're going to pay $400 on September 27th, why? Because you want your remaining balance to be 10% of your total balance. Remember, you only want it to be 10%. So 10% of $5,000 is what? $500. So you're gonna make a payment of $400 to get that remaining balance down to 10%, which is $500. So. That's your second payment, okay? So your first payment, you made it three days before the statement date. Your second payment, you're making it basically on the statement date. Now our third payment is going to be three days before our due date. So again, our credit card balance is $5,000 or it was $5,000. Now that we're paying it down, it's going down. But anyway, our due date is October 15th. You wanna make your credit card payment three days before your due date, the last credit card payment, three days before your due date. Pay $250 on October 12th. Now, 
the $250 will put your credit card balance down to 5% of the previous or the previous credit card balance, which is fine. I suggest, as always, to pay it down to zero, but some people don't have it like that, don't ha- don't want to do it like that, whatever the case may be. You can leave the $250 on there, but it would behoove you to not have that $200, $250 remaining on there. But if you want to do it like that, feel free. Again, set up the auto pay so that it's paying on these dates that those amounts for you and also make sure that when you have that remaining balance that 250 and fifty dollar remaining balance that you're not going back and saying oh my goodness i have money on my card available i can take that money and just charge it up if you don't have to now Understandable. If you put this into play with the velocity banking um, plan that I was referring to, fine. You might use that remaining amount to, um, you know, the four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. You might use that to pay some bills. You might use that to get gas, groceries, whatever have you. Um, so be it. But in order to make this work, you need to make those payments on time, on those dates, every single month, and then you will see your scores go up. All right, guys, so I hope that this information has helped you. If you implement it, I am sure that your credit score will go up at least 30 points, and you need to make sure that you Go step by step and do exactly as I instructed in order to see those results. Now, if you're trying to get your credit in order, make sure that you go ahead and download the credit checklist that I have. It is, I put the link in the description box. This is going to help you once you receive your credit reports and you need to review them. This is going to help you review them step by step. Each one of them, you're going to get the one from Experian, the one from Equifax, and the one from TransUnion. You're going to use this credit checklist for all three to make sure that they are doing or recording or reporting what it is that they need to report for your credit history so that you can get your credit in order. So make sure you download that checklist. Again, the link is down in the description box. And if you need to find out how you can get your three credit reports for free, go ahead and watch this video right here. It's going to help you on your road to get your credit in order. Thank you for joining me and have a good one. Bye.